together a long time now and we couldn't be any proud of them. Here we go again. <laughs> go on. No matter what life throws at them, they just get up and get on with it. They never ask for any sympathy and that should be a lesson to us all. They've given us two beautiful grandsons who bring us all so much joy. Everyone can see what an amazing family they are. And from my point of view, you want the best for your daughters. And Alex, you work bloody hard to keep Gemma and boys happy. <laughs> oh yeah. The sunny Lord's good cow, girl. <laughs> and all who is willing to help. I don't need to tell you how beautiful Gemma looks today. You can all see for yourself. She's yes. yes. She's got looks from her dad and a got from her mother. <laughs> But seriously, she's a beautiful girl with a beautiful personality and the best mother any child could ever wish for. We are very lucky to have such a fantastic group of friends and family and people around us. So on that note, I'd like to make a couple of toasts. First of all, to absent friends. Finally, could you raise your glasses please? Hello 
on behalf of me and my wife. We welcome you for sharing our special day. Gemma, Theo, whatever Charlie is. Uh, and myself. <laughs> Put them candles on, Charlie. We are so pleased that you are all part of our lives. A million percent. I have a number of thank yous for you today. First, I would like to thank the staff here at Mosboro for their diligent efforts on behalf of everybody. I think you were fantastic. Scrap <laughs> 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 See, that's what I'm allowing. Allow it. Allow it. Right. Jackie and Glenn. With the hand on my heart, you are the most perfect in laws anyone could ever wish for. Yeah. Let's start with the fact that we shouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you asking me why I haven't married Gemma in another 10 years. You'll see me come a little bit around, Jack. <laughs> During all the babysitting hours that you've come for us. Without the DIY jobs, Clint hasn't done on my house. <laughs> my new gaffer would probably fell down by now. <laughs> this first time I came in with Gemma, you welcomed me with open arms, even if it did traumatise her. Traumatize you, <laughs> not me, you. <laughs> Jackie by warming in, warming in India, you know, in the in microwave. The microwave. <laughs> sorry, I'm still sorry I'll about forget that, you, I'll forget you, I'll forget you, I'll forget you. I know you would do anything for Jem, me and the boys. We have loved the holidays together and I'm glad to be part of your family. Thank you so much for everything that you have done and will carry on doing. I love you both. Can I please have a tour to Jackie and Glenn, please? To Jackie and Glenn. <laughs> Maybe tipsy after all these tours in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Stop trying to get to mine. Stop trying to get to mine. I would also like to thank Shelley, Ryan, Evie and Tia. Hi. <laughs> Thomas Lauren. Where are they? Where are you? <laughs> Mira and Lola. I've been there as good brothers and good sisters should be. I know I can chew your heads off, but that's what, that's what you have to do with so. <laughs> I would like to thank my groomsmen. Can you stand up, boys? That's my groomsmen. Where my groomsmen are? Come in, 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 come in. Sit down, man. Sit down, man. Sit down, man. Sit down, man. I'm so lucky to have so many good friends that I have spent some special times with. Thank you for putting up with me. They say you can choose your friends, but I think I can. I've chosen well. I love you all, though. That's why the people at Top Table are known most of me to me. So I was thinking of like. Shut up, Joe. To my best man, James. Well, where do I start? I'd like to thank I would like to thank James for being a good friend and brother for me for over 20 years. As much as he can be a bit of a pain, he, he can pull me up from time to time. His skill on the tennis court is up for debate as I told his last time I played him yeah. in my ride here. Or Richard. 
But no, it's... You can solve things out of that room. I'll be slow. I'll be Chat, this is where you want to start piping down. <laughs> this is where you want to be organizer. Try to solve it in 15 years, I'll just be well with where I'm. <laughs> and you were last time. You were made quit as well. <laughs> anyway, anyway, sure. Keep, keep in mind that back, please. Um, James can always be counted on, and will always be there with a the joke, preferably the bad. Love you, bro. Same time. Come bro. Oh, you were toasting that. Toasting James. <laughs> Thank you for everything you've done, Mr. Jenny. Yeah, Jenny. For me over the last days, two years. You're welcome. <laughs> hours and hours you stood on wet, muddy fields, encouraging me to be the best at football. For the hours and hours in swimming baths, karate, boxing, whatever classes we went to, and you put us through them. I know I'm going to let Thomas run away with him, so he's probably a bit And just one fond memory is taking us to uh, WWF. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Rock card. <laughs> Can't remember what year, but it were unbelievable. We were one of the best nights of my life. We have learned so much of you, Dad. He's, just, he's the go-to person in anything that he's addressing with me. He's given me work ethic from a young age, and I know that if I want anything, I have to work for it. I don't get nothing given to you. Mom. Mommy <laughs> Bear. Sorry for all the late nights, lads holidays, that have meant you haven't slept a wink. There's only, there's only one more stag do to do, and that's make sure you so just get your head down and you <laughs> recoup a bit, recoup a bit. Thank you for both being there when it was a nightmare, but we can laugh about it now. When you tell Theo and Charlie about me, they will always get you. I love you so much. Both of you are unbelievably. I love you. You're welcome. This is the tour. Come on, you. Stand up. Represent. Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> and have been great friends throughout over the years. 
She and I would like to thank you for being there for us. I love you all. Love you too. I would like to thank Jimmy's grandparents, Irene and Raymond, for being there when we needed a helping hand for Thursday night team mostly. Where we are, where's, where's Irene? Ray? Raymond? 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 I mean, maybe it's another beautiful lady whose smile is so welcoming and she'll be so strong since Terry passed. I love you, Mavis. Nana Maureen, I love you so much. You've always been a big part of my life, from even every parties with all the families, to, babys to babysitting when mum and dad went out, which was only Thursday, Friday, Saturday, <laughs> Sunday. I love you so much, Dan. the main attraction. Hi. I've never seen a more stunning bride yeah. than this. I have to start with how unbelievably gorgeous she is. Never looking half decent, always, always looking stunning. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> Gemma is so kind, she's never said no to helping anyone in need, even if it pulls her out, me and me. <laughs> she's always there for the little ones, we love having, having Auntie Gemma around. Yeah. Yeah. She's generous and will give you anything. Except from the chop chop and sweets. Believe it or not, yeah. well, I know you will, but Gemma is the one in our house with brains. Theo is a close second, and I think Charlie just beats me. <laughs> I may not be the brightest, <laughs> brightest star in the sky. I can skim your wall, knock your wall down. Skinny. Skinny. Drop it. Between our and radio acting time, but this lady right here is strong enough to guide three men through our lives. And I believe that. by far the best part of me and they're two two beautiful babies to show for yeah. me.
<laughs> He's crept in the back, on it? Give me an answer. I'm going to talk to you a little bit. Just before I do, we'd both like to mention those that have passed and that are no longer with us. Jumper's granddad, Terry, was a lovely man who always had a smile and always had a good word to say about everybody. To Terry, to Terry. To Nelly and Jim, absolute characters who would have loved a chance to see our beautiful Jumper is today. To Nelly and Jim, Granddad Dennis, or Dembo, as you know him, or Daddy Scrim, or whatever. What a man. True gen, distilled it down from plaster to plaster to plaster. <laughs> but, what a man. Dembo. Best of us. And the big daft one that only lost it a few weeks ago. The big daft Alan. So I can't believe he's gone, but he's. We move on, we have happier times now, but we, we make sure that we remember him. And now I'm safe to sleep with my eyes open instead of my eyebrows getting took off. <laughs> to all of them. So, can I please ask you to raise your glasses to the little ones that are here on earth? To past people. To past people. <laughs> and now, to end, please stand and we will toast the most beautiful person in this room, which is Jemalicious. Smoking tonight. <laughs> Sorry, bridesmaids. <laughs> Obviously, we can't forget our beautiful Gemma Lokes. Stunning. <laughs> There's no need for introductions, is there? No. For them, what don't know I am? No. James, Alex's best man. Well, probably most people's best man, but. He's booked me in for tonight. <laughs> like to. <laughs> like to. Clock to. The oar's not up with it. 
Come on, Theo, sit down, Theo's please. Bored. Theo, come here. Theo's come bored. here. Come here, Theo. Like I said, Bar Maisel looks stunning. I'm a bit disappointed that Alex walks in as well. But you do look decent for once. Taxi. Anybody else nervous? I need to get I'm just going to help the centre when you drink, you don't mind, dear. I'm just going to help the centre when you drink. Is only one, I'll take that. That's what it is. She is Alex. What's that? I don't know. We'll find out. for over 20 years, so as you can imagine, I've got a lot of stories to tell, but some of which I can't tell, because it could turn into good. <laughs> Carry on. Is divorce a word what you can use? It could turn into a divorce, so I'll leave them ones in locker. I remember when Alex first met Gemma, they come round to resident Heckler's house, chapels, telling us how smoking she is. She's gorgeous. His word, I think, was Volvic Water. <laughs> that was his nickname. I think that was, I don't, well, I don't know. Something to do with being fresh, you said, or something. I don't know, anyway. Yeah, <laughs> Volvic Water, anyway. I, says, I said to him, have you met Gemma? Are you a friend at family, or? He said, yeah, something like that. So, <laughs> in the end, it turns out Gemma was just the girl next door. I'm that nervous, I rang Alex last week, I says, Alex, can I pull out? He said, yeah, three kids is enough for anyone. I said, no, I meant out of speech. Now, Pete, People have told me a best man is just there to roast and embarrass the groom. But I want to talk about his good qualities. If anyone wants to tag, I've got five minutes. Let's wait now. Oh, there is. There is one here. If he holds on to his hairline, as long as Gemma, they'll get at least 32 years out of this marriage. Don't know if that's good or bad, but it's all I heard. Also, it's a well-known fact, there's five rules to a best man's speech. That's don't talk about his exes. Don't talk about the sex lives. Don't talk about the sight do. Because what? Goes on tour? Goes on tour. Sorry, say it again. Say it again. No inappropriate jokes. Got none of them. And don't use cheap props to try and get a laugh. You know, don't play by rules, so let's leave them rules. And they also told me a best man's speech should, should last as long as the newlyweds take to make love. But like, no, that because I've run over already. <laughs> When, me and Alex, when I first met Alex, he used to look up to men. And as you can see from his very tiny frame, he still does. <laughs> now through school, Alex thought he was clever, but as he said in his speech, he's not. I remember once we went to Pizza Hut and a waiter said, do you want this pizza cut into four or eight slices? 
He said, best make it fold. I don't think I'll manage any. and common sense carried on for a number of years. When Alex first passed his test, I gave, him, I gave him some sound advice to invest in a booster seat so he could steal, steal over the steering wheel. But he thought it would be better to get back for three years, hoping in that time he'd grow to see over. Uh, <laughs> girls were a bit worried when we were going on this stag do. They were all talking on their group like something was going to happen. One of us was going to get killed. And obviously, I think he's the reason why they thought that. Because the first year, the first year we went away, it's my, in, in fact, the butcher is long. To this day, nobody knows how we did it. Wow. He just come back in reception with his long breathing panting. Dragging this out. <laughs> 35 minutes yours, mate. 35. He punctured his lung. Second holiday. He did a dance and knocked his teeth out. Kieran's here tonight at the back. He helped him out with that, Kieran. Punched the other one out. One will, one will lose. Kieran punched the other one out, so he's got two missing. Now, when our booking, when our, he's here, look. When our booking stag do, first thought that came to mind was naughty little stripper. But then, a few of lads here, I'm not mentioning names, they're not even allowed to look at page three, let alone a stripper. So I give that one. A wide swerve. Night <laughs> Then. <laughs> then I thought, dwarf. Pretty, pretty common. But I couldn't find none. What were smaller than Alex. <laughs> so that also. That also got squashed. Obviously now I need to thank Staggers because they made the stag do what it were. If you can remember anything that is. All Staggers who come, thanks. You made it what it was. Apart from Bush. Apart from Bush. <laughs> <laughs> Not him off, not him off. I've nodded him. I'm waiting for him to speak. Now, Alex and Jamie got married, for better or for worse, which is quite appropriate, because Gemma couldn't have done any worse. <laughs> have I said that right? Yeah. 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 And Alex couldn't have done any better. I think I mixed that up. Tell <laughs> bitch. Uh, I'm, getting to, I'm getting to your good bit, Alex, don't worry. It's here somewhere. One sec, let me look. I think I've, I think I've skipped two pages here. I think I've skipped two pages. I have. He's here, Eckler. You entertain him, chat while I look for my page. Entertain him, please. Now, Alex, Gemma's leaving here today. We are loving. Alex is leaving here today, shows. We are loving, kind, caring, fun, and, and also the best mate to my lady, Rachel. And Alex is <laughs> about 35 minutes. But with that bush. Gemma's also leaving here today with a pretty dress and some nice flowers. 
I'm wrapping it now. It's wrapping. I've got a few messages for people who come be here today. To Alex, congratulations. I come back here today from all the girls at Babe Station. <laughs> to Alex again. Congratulations. From all the girls at Studio 66. <laughs> oh, this one. I think there's a pattern here. No, so keep them quiet. sorry, sorry. This one's for Gemma and Alex. I've sent your new updated passes to the Swingers Club in the post. They should be with you shortly. Congratulations. But no, really, can we all just stand a sec for me, please? And now can we all sit back down because there's another 35 minutes left of this? No, really, sit down. <laughs> no. He's done, he's done. Yeah, can we all raise the toes for Alex and Gemma on today? Their special day. Alex and Gemma, the only ways. Cheers.